this. Now I will show you how, how it will work. I will put a break point and you will get a different result itself. I'm running. Suppose I want to run the background job for order number one to two only. Background. I will go for desktop three. Now, firstly, job will open. Yes, this is the job number. And now I will check in SM37 transaction code. Firstly, background job will open. This is the background job order underscore BG. Yes, it is scheduled background job. This is uh, already finished job. Do not confuse with this. As of now, this is our scheduled job. Now we will go for again F6. Now we are not going for submit a BAP statement. We are going for job underscore submit function module. It means we are adding the program to the background job. You gave order number one to D2, but we are not passing order number one to two to this job underscore submit function module. It means to this particular report, to this program, no input will be passed. If I will show you this program, no input will be passed to this program. Nothing. No input will be passed. If no input will be passed, it will take all the order numbers. Now, if I will go for job underscore submit, done. Now we are executing or processing the background job in image report. Done. Now I will show you the result. We will get a wrong result itself. If I will refresh, okay, released, finished, everyone is ticked. Now this is the latest background job which is finished. I will check the spool. If I will go for result, you can see we want to run the background job for order number one to two, but background job is running for all the order numbers and this thing customer will never, never accept. Yes, but yes, if you do not want to go for dynamic input, no problem. Go for job underscore submit function module. But if you want to run your background job for dynamic input, yes, always, always prefer submit a back statement. Now I will add one thing here. Now generally interviewer will ask, okay, now if I want to go for job underscore submit function module for specific input only, is there any provision? Yes, there is a provision. And you all know that. Thing. If I will go to back button, have you seen in job underscore submit, we have a provision of variant. Yes. Now, if you remember in SN36 also, we understood the concept of variant. If I will check what are the various variants of this program, I will show you through variant now. Now we have two variants, ORD1, ORD2. Suppose I will go for ORD2. It means this particular job will run for order number one, two, three. Anyways, our requirement has not fulfilled. If customer is passing the order number one to 10, still, still, whoever background job will run for order number one, two, three only. But yes, if you want to run your background job for the specific variant, yes, you can use job underscore submit function module. But yes, in real projects, we always want to run a background job. Yes based upon that dynamic input. 
in that case job underscore submit will not fulfill your requirement suppose if i am running this i am going for order number one two five anyways it has no sense because we are running for variant i'll go for background yes second radio button ticked our job opened in schedule yes our background job created in schedule status we added the step and now we finished the job so many times i showed you in debugging so now i will directly show you the result and you will understand thoroughly i'll go to back i will refresh now you can see we have one more finished if i will show you the spool if I will go for this, you can see the background job run for one, two, three, because this is the variant. Yes. Anyways, our purpose has not fulfilled. Yes. But yes, with the help of job underscore submit, we can go for variant. Yes, we can go for variant. Now, many people ask, okay, can we pass variant in submit a BAP statement also? Yes, that is possible. That's why I'm saying with the help of submit, you can do anything, anything. Suppose you want to run your background job for specific variant. At that time also, with the help of submit a BAP statement, you can do. Suppose we will not go for dynamic order numbers. So what is the syntax? So I will write simply using selection set. And suppose I will go for same to same variant ORD2. We are not going for dynamic selection screen values. We are using the variant itself. So you can see with the help of submit a BAP statement, you have a provision to pass the variant also. So why, why you should go for job underscore submit. Job underscore submit has a limitation. You cannot go for dynamic values. But whatever you achieve, you are achieving through job underscore submit, you can achieve through submit a BAP statement also. Now suppose if I'm commenting job underscore submit, now, with the help of submit a BAP statement also, we can go for variant. I'll just put a breakpoint. Anyways, this input is of no use because we are going for variant. I'll go to desktop 3. Now, our background job, yes, created in scheduled status. Now we are going for variant and we just process the job immediately. Now, if I will show you SM37, you can see we achieve same to same thing through submit a BAP statement. This is the latest job which is created. If I will show you the spool, you can see order number one, two, three. So that is our variant. So variant you can achieve through submit a BAP statement also. So why, why you should go for job underscore submit function module. So what is the summary of last video and this video and extremely important concepts in cover from the interview perspective. If someone asks you, yes, why you have not preferred job underscore submit function module why why you went for submit a BAP statement your simple answer is your requirement is to run the background job for dynamic inputs and with the help of job underscore submit it is not possible so we use with the help of job underscore submit function module it is not possible so i used submit a BAP statement 
Now, if someone asks you, can you go for job underscore submit for a variant? Yes, we can go for a variant. Can you use variant in submit a PAP statement also? Yes, you can use. And what is the syntax? Using selection set, you can go for name of the variant. Yes. So whatever you can achieve through job underscore submit, you can achieve through submit a PAP statement itself. And yes, the main, main advantage from the project perspective is, yes, we can run a background job for dynamic values with the help of submit a BAP statement only. That is not possible using job underscore submit function module. So that's it in this video. Thank you.